Fractured teeth are a fairly common problem in dogs and cats. In fact, they should be suspected any time that there is any facial swelling. This is a patient with a severe carnasial abscess. You can see the significant facial swelling as well as swelling running down his neck. In addition, notice the pus coming out of his eye. This is a picture of the dog's fractured tooth. Notice how small the fracture site is. And finally, this is the dental radiograph. The black area at the tips of the roots, as shown by the red arrows, are diagnostic for the abscess. Here is another example of a dog with a severe carnasial abscess. Note the severe drainage from the upper and lower jaw. This pet has been suffering with this problem for five years and has had several surgeries and other therapies without success. Here is a picture of his teeth. You can see that they are not even fractured, but are dead regardless, as noted by the discoloration. This is the dental radiograph of his maxillary fourth premolar, showing the severe bony reaction. This is his mandibular molar, which is also severely infected. Note that his jaw is very close to breaking, as shown by the red arrow. It is very important to note, however, that just because a broken tooth is not clinically abscessed does not mean it is not a problem. Every broken tooth with direct pulp or nerve exposure needs to be treated expediently. This is a drawing of an upper fourth premolar. This is the part of the tooth you can see, and this is what you can't see. There's three big roots. Each one of these roots it holds a root canal, which is supplied with blood vessels and nerves from the maxillary artery, which comes up into the crown of the tooth in an area called the pulp chamber. What has happened is the dog has broken this tooth and in all likelihood exposed this root canal system. Note, however, that carnasial abscesses can occur with even uncomplicated crown fractures, and in my experience, they are the smallest fractures which actually abscess. What happens is all these billions of bacteria get into this root canal system and kill it. Then what will happen is the bacteria will use this root canal system as a bacterial superhighway to come from the root canal through here and start creating infection in this area here. The bacteria that are here as well as within the root canal system are called anaerobes. Anaerobes are bacteria that do not use oxygen. However, they create carbon dioxide as a byproduct of their respiration. And that carbon dioxide that's created down here, if you have a big wide open fracture site, is vented out into the mouth. Okay. So it doesn't create the pressure to cause the swelling. In smaller fractures, where you have just a small hole, something can come in here and clog it, like a cork in the bottle of champagne. And then this gas can't go this way, so it takes the path of least resistance which is out underneath the skin, creating a carnasial abscess. Antibiotics will, for a short time, knock out some of these bacteria. But unfortunately, the white blood cells and antibiotics cannot get into the root canal system to kill this bacterial infection. Therefore, as soon as the antibiotics are gone, the infection will come right back out here and start again, regardless of clinical signs. The only way to treat a carnasial abscess is to remove the source of infection. Treatment options for abscessed teeth are root canal therapy or extraction. Don't let anyone tell you that an abscessed tooth cannot be treated with root canal. They can do very well. This is the same patient at a one month recheck. The infection is completely resolved following proper therapy. The pet is much more active and happy than he has been for seven years. Here you see a nine-month recheck radiograph of a previously abscessed maxillary fourth premolar. Note that the black areas of infection at the root tips have resolved. 